friends and welcome back to the podcast or knitcast. I wasn't sure if I was going to make another episode this week because something absolutely heartbreaking, horrible happened this week and I'm 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 not sure what to do with myself right now. Um, so I I've been in a place where I was thinking I wouldn't do another knit cast this week. I wouldn't do another knit cast ever or any type of podcast. And I would just it's been a rough week. It's been a really really rough week. So, um I'm a bit less for energy today. I'm trying to just you know, pull myself together. I'm trying to rely on the routines and, and stuff that I have in place in life, in work, in general, to to try to get through all of this, to to get by. And um, it's tough. I know. I know things will get better in the long run, day by day, but right now I'm just feeling absolutely, utterly crushed and devastated, and um, yeah, so, but I decided I, I was, I was, I, I'm going to do this anyway, I'm going to make the knit cast because I do need to have, I, I'm, <laughs> I need to cling to whatever is still there in my life right now and I, I need the routine I need to keep going I need to keep going so please excuse me if I'm a bit less for energy this time around I'll do I'll do better next time I promise um, but I'm still here I am going to continue making my videos and continue building my business and I don't know, brand, I guess. So, um, yeah. Yeah, let's talk about knitting, shall we? Um, like I said, it's been a horrible, horrible week. Um, I, I don't think I've ever cried as much as I have been the past few days. And there's been a lot of therapy, therapy knitting to, to get through everything. And what I've mainly been knitting on is this one, The Weekender by Andrea Maury. And as you can see, I hope I have finished the entire body now. And the shoulder seams are done and uh, I'm ready to do the sleeves on this one. But before we talk about the sleeves, let's talk about the body. Oh, can you see it? It's very, very long. Now I did want mine to be longer than what is uh, set in the pattern because I prefer that. So I kind of went on a bit and I went on a bit and I therapy knitted my way through a lot of stuff and I ended up knitting this to about four inches longer than the original pattern, which is actually a bit too long I think but at the same time if I giving the choice between this very long version and the original one I still would prefer the long one but four inches was perhaps a bit too much I, I think I should have stopped at like two inches but I've just been going 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 so so I'm not I'm still happy I'm still happy with it and I'm happy that I have finally been able to to finish both the front and the back and and to uh, do the shoulder seam so that I could actually try it on for the first time because it was a bit of a gamble as I am knitting the, this in DK instead of worsted which the pattern called for and um, so I kind of winged it a bit and it's big it is actually big it's um, I could have got, gone down a size but I did, it is an oversized sweater, I do enjoy oversized sweaters, so it's just a bit more oversized, so I'm okay with that also, actually. Something that I did find was that 
the neckline you are supposed to Kitchener stitch and uh, I could not get a good result trying to Kitchener stitch this material. Um, it could probably be because I am using a lighter yarn weight than uh, the pattern calls for and a different needle size in comparison. So I had to, to rip that back, which ripping back Kitchener stitch is not fun, let me tell you. Uh, so I had to tell, take that out and I did a, uh, a loose bind off instead, and, uh, which works just fine. Because had, had I sticked with the Kitchener stitch, it would have been too tight in the material that I'm making. I, no, please make note of that. I'm not, it's not, uh, there's nothing wrong with the pattern. I think it's just that I chose a different type of yarn to, to do it in and then it became too tight for the neckline. So I did a loose bind off instead and I'm very happy with that result and how that turned out. So this morning I was ready to start the sleeves. And I, you are, according to the patterns, you should uh, pick up along the uh, armholes. And I did that and I started working on the sleeve, but it turned out that the pickup stitches it did, did not look good at all. It looked actually horrible. Which is also, again, definitely because I have chosen a different yarn weight than the pattern actually called for. Uh, so I decided to rip that back and I am now instead knitting the sleeves separately because it is a dropped sleeve on this sweater. It's a dropped sleeve so it's just a, a very very easy set in sleeve and you can make the sleeve separately and then just stitch them in afterwards. So that's what I have opted to do instead to get to make a, a nice finish for, um, for the sleeves where you set them in. So I've cast on for that and made a yarn mess as usual um, and I will be sewing those in place instead of uh, picking up and knitting them directly to the project. So I guess that is probably going to be my therapy knitting for a few more days. Um, it's an easy, nice knit, very it's a mindless knit. It's uh, it's perfect for just watching podcasts, knitcasts on YouTube or watching Netflix and you know just trying to not think too much about what's happening and you can just knit. So so that's what I'm that's what I'll be doing, I think, for a few more nights here. I'm very happy about this. I'm um, looking forward to wearing it with any luck I should I guess I could be done by next podcast so maybe I'll be wearing it then so yeah very very happy about this and uh, happy I had this knit right now I, I did need a, a therapy knit for sure to keep my mind off things or at least try to to make things bearable during the worst of it. So, yeah, happy about that, at least. During the beginning of the week I was attempting to be a bit more efficient when it came to the pattern making parts, which, you know, I've talked about this for a while, I've had troubles getting to it, getting it done, actually. So I did uh, in the first days of the week before everything just kind of blew up around here I did manage to get three patterns ready for launch and I did uh, release two of them um, I did the um, the EC Chunky Cowl which is a free download and there's this one as well those are now available as free downloads on uh, in my web shop. I will link that below. Um, so you can go get that if you want to. It's very very easy. You just two by two ribbing basically and knit to so and so length and embellish with whatever. But there's a short description of that available in the web shop if you would like to have that. Uh, I also got to the Stockholm hat and finished that pattern 
and that pattern has also been released. Now this is a paid for pattern which is also available in the web shop now and I am thinking I'm going to make a bundle with the socks and the mittens and the hats um, somewhere down the line so that you can get all three of them in uh, at once if you'd like to do a um, sort of a discount instead of buying each pattern separately so I will be doing that also eventually and then finally I also did finish the pattern for these hats and uh, this um, oh, I forgot to say this the, the cowls are uh, I have knitted in my own chunky merino yarn but you can make them in any chunky yarn or you can just go double DK or double worsted and, and you'll get the same results and the Stockholm hats are made in Österjötlands Visjö Gorn, Visjö Ull uh, I will link that below as well. It's not a yarn I'm currently uh, having in my web shop, but I may, may be in the in the future. And the these hats, which I have decided to call cupcake hats, after a friend of mine told me she thought they looked just like cupcakes. So that pattern is also ready, but I haven't released it yet. I will try to do that shortly. Uh, I was intending to publish it during the week as well, but there's been a lot of things happening. And uh, these are made in Biolana by Lana Mondial. It's also a quick and easy pattern, very nice knit. So I did get that done this week, which I am quite happy about. Oh, something fell out in the hallway. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Um, yeah, very happy about that. I have also finally gotten around to the tropical socks, this pair that I've been showing you many many times and talked about that I do need to get this pattern ready and I did actually get started on that one as well. So I have done the first uh, pattern report with the flowers. This is what it's going to look like. Oh, let's see. There we go. Um, first pattern report with the flowers has been done. There's another one below. And as you can see, this, uh, this is a slightly different color than the first pair I made. Which is because I just decided to go into my stash and grab something that I have. You know, it's the, instead of breaking into a new skein, I wanted to use something that I already had. And which is kind of the idea also with these socks that okay you do need a little bit more of the uh, the uh, main color but then you should be able to use whatever you have leftovers in your stash to make the flowers it doesn't have to be any specific you know like pink color for the flower or green for the leaves or, or whatever or these the center of the flower doesn't have to be like a greenish yellow you can go with whatever, whatever you got so um, I wanted to show that as well that you can pick different varieties and it will still look really really good so I'm very happy about that about having gotten going on that one it's been in the makings for way 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 too long and um, I'll probably get back to it uh, tonight or tomorrow and try to to make some more progress on this because this is a this is a project this is the pattern that I, that I really really want to to have, to finish and you know have um, released so yeah did get to working a little bit about on the, that one as well which is very which I'm very happy about well, that was actually what I've been working on this past week, pretty much. The pattern making and uh, knitting on the Tropical Socks and the Weekender. Um, what I am thinking right now, being in this situa situation that I am currently, I think maybe I need to cast on something new and something a bit challenging. Um, just to keep my sanity. Through what's happening. So in one of my Dollar Horse project bags I have the three skeins from Earth Yarns 
which I mentioned a couple of podcasts ago, I think. They're monochrome, or actually these are monochrome, let's see, uh, fingering merino and uh, unique, unique, self-striping. So I think maybe I will be, will start working on this design now, just to keep my sanity, to challenge myself a bit, to have something fun and bright and colorful to work on. Well, most of the things I make are bright and colorful, but I just need something new to stay sane, to find my happy place again. And uh, yeah, so I think, I think this one will be my, my next cast on for the, for the next week. And hopefully I will be able to show you a, a little bit next in next the next podcast. Um, fingers crossed. So yeah, that's it for knitting content this week. Um, been very monogamous um, knit, knitting wise. Been there's been a lot of stuff happening, so I have kind of been going back and forth between not wanting to knit at all ever again and having to knit to just keep breathing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, yeah, today this afternoon I will actually be going going over to my one of my neighbors, a friend of mine who has uh, she wanted to host like a home party kind of thing for my yarns and so on so I am going to go over there later I almost cancelled but then I decided that I it would probably do me good to get out of the house and meet nice people and talk about yarn and talk about yarn dyeing and just hang out and, and do something else I think probably it's, it's probably a good thing that I had this uh, thing booked for today all things considered. So I will be going over there in a few hours and um, yeah there will be some knitting and I heard rumors of uh, wine and cheese and uh, it's probably just what I need today. So I'm going to end uh, right here. I am going to start editing this video and um, get ready to head on over to my friend and set up everything there and have a nice relaxing evening there and um, knit a bit I think. So thank you for stopping by. I um, hope to see you again. Feel free to subscribe or follow me on my other social media. It's all linked below and uh, I will be Hopefully be more energetic next week and hopefully I will have lots of lots of fun stuff to show you then and um, yeah. So you have a good weekend, have an awesome awesome week and I will see you next time. Bye.